In today's time, paying attention to things is more difficult than it ever has been. And ever since I was a kid, I always have had to do something with my hands. Mainly take apart pens. When I'm sitting idly at work or even when I was in school, I would just take apart pens and inevitably lose the pieces and make a mess of things. And that's because if I have something that I can focus on with my hands, then my brain can focus on what I need to be paying attention to. And what does that have to do with 3D printing? Well, in today's age, fidget toys are all the rage and 3D printing enables us to make some really special ones. Ones that couldn't be made with any other manufacturing technique. So I set out on a mission to find my favorite 3D printed fidget toys so I can share them with you guys and you can have some really awesome things to print to keep your hands busy. Because unlike Ricky Bobby where he doesn't know what to do with his hands, now you're going to. Call it ADD, call it ADHD, I'm not sure exactly if I have any of those. However, I do know I've always had a really hard time focusing and fidget toys have helped me to be able to be more productive when I'm working on things. And it does go a long way for easing and soothing some anxieties that I have, be it social or just general. And these 3D printed toys are a fantastic way to help overcome that. As per usual, we will be crediting all the designers by linking these files for free for you to download in the description of the video. The first one that we're going to be taking a look at is one that I'm sure you've probably seen floating around YouTube Shorts or TikTok, and it's one of these impossible pass-through vortexes. This cone is super rad and it does print in two pieces. I don't remember which was printed on which, but they were both printed on an A1 or A1 Mini in New Makers, Lagoon Blue and Black, and it's ultra satisfying. Basically, the inner portion is kind of like a drill bit and just spins through. You can put it in from the bottom, you can put it in from the top, and it does make quite a lot of noise, so if you're trying to be low-key and stealthy, this might not be the best option. But it's really versatile. It's very mesmerizing to watch. And if you print one of these, I'm sure you're going to get a load of views on socials if that's something that you're after. It's a great way to kind of test your machine, make sure your tolerances are dialed in, make sure your attractions are on point, because these sharp little points at the top are a nightmare for stringing. I have some little wisps from my prints, and it turned out fantastic but it's absolutely mesmerizing and it's going to absolutely draw attention if you have this sitting on your desk. So this is one of my favorites and I think that you'll have a lot of fun printing it. In addition to taking pens apart and putting them back together, something else that I frequently carry around in my pocket is like an M3 bolt and nut. There's just something satisfying about the screw turning around and that's what this square bolt is really great at. I printed this out on the Flash Forge Adventure 5M Pro for the review to test tolerances and surface finishes and carry this thing pretty frequently. It's super smooth. The nut actually just falls right on and the weight is enough that you get the really awesome twisting motion. Each rotation of 90 degrees will actually advance the nut about 25% of the way through, which is really satisfying to just watch how everything lines up and just you can turn it, you can spin it, and it just scratches that right itch in the back of my head for taking things apart and putting them back together. It's something that you can use in a classroom, it's something that you could have on your desk at work, and you might turn some heads, but it's not obnoxiously loud like the Vortex toys are. It does make some noise, just ultra satisfying and totally fun to play with. In addition to taking apart pens and various other things, something I'm really guilty of is actually taking off my watch and playing with the watch band. So that's where this rad little doodad comes in. Basically, it emulates a watch band and you can kind of spin it around. And If you're kind of a, a touch and sensory person, you can kind of snake it around between your fingers and just keep your hands occupied that way. It's also very fun to just kind of spin and twirl it around which is something else that I enjoy. You know, like if you have a necklace on, this is why I lose things. I take off, like if I'm wearing a necklace or my watch and I'll just, you know, spin it around my finger and having something that I can 3D print and it doesn't make a ton of noise unless you clack it together. This really scratches that itch. And there are little tricks that you can learn with this. I'm not very good at any of them. I don't really have a lot of finger dexterity. Highly uncoordinated over here. But this printed 
it's actually over a year ago and lived in cameraman Bo's truck for a while out of Polyterra PLA and it just just satisfies when you're snaking it around or twirling it it's a ton of fun and something that would fit in your pocket that you can carry around with you it's kind of low-key most people aren't going to think twice it's kind of like having your keys spinning around or something like that but I can honestly say that when I have something like this with me it helps me to keep my watch on my wrist where it belongs or my necklace around my neck and not lose it or launch it 500 feet from where I'm sitting. Moving on, if you like things that have moving parts and are enamored by print and place models and want to test the tolerances of your machines, this little tank track is super cool. This is actually a print and place model where all of the treads are interlinked and it just rotates super smoothly around. This one is really enjoyable because there's a few ways that you can manipulate it. It does make a decent amount of noise, but I wouldn't say it's obnoxious. You can, you know, give it one of these and just rotate it in your hand, or once you get it good and broken in, you can actually just free spin the tread, kind of wallow your fingers around. And this model is designed with a bridge where you can actually print two of these treads and make a tank benchy. That's right. You can turn your benchy into a tank using these. And you go from fidget toy to totally rad battle toy. This one was printed in Lagoon Blue from New Makers on one of my A1s and it looks really solid. It's pretty stiff at first and it does take some time to break in, but once it does, you're going to have all sorts of fun moves that you can do with this. and. It really does a good job of something that you can just idly manipulate. You don't have to really pay too much attention. I wouldn't exactly say that there's tricks, but if you know about fidget toys, chances are you kind of have these like moves that you do with them in your head. Like everybody that I've talked to just kind of has these little things that they do. And for just sitting idly, like if I'm on a phone call, you know, having to call a utility company or watching an online class, just spinning this thing around in my hand and just evenly manipulating it. It's fantastic. Now, the fidget toy that absolutely started the revolution, the fidget spinner. This one is a very expensive, machined, high precision bearing that Cameraman Bo has had for quite some time. And when you flick it, it will spin for a really long time. It's really well made, has some good heft to it, and will fit in your pocket for sure. But it's lame. It's not 3D printed. We're here to talk about 3D printed fidget toys. While that may have started the revolution and been slightly expensive, this one is really cool. You might remember this herringbone planetary gear spinner from our Flash Forge review. And this is printed in Newmaker's Red PLA as part of the testing for tolerances and print and place models on the Flash Forge. And it's truly kind of just a baffling engineering feat in my mind. Like something like this can essentially only be made with 3D printing because your little gears on the inside are all captive. And this does print all just at once. What's special and what's satisfying about this is you can just take a finger and twirl it around. You can put four fingers in and still spin it and see what the middle gear does, or you can spin it like a good old fidget spinner. Now, this one's not going to spin nearly as long as that $50 machined fidget spinner. However, this one only costs a couple of hours and a few dozen grams of filament. So when you're comparing apples to apples, while this is bigger and bulkier, it's more unique and it's something that you made yourself. And still, every bit is satisfying. Plus, kind of has that cool industrial fit and feel to it. It's one of my favorites and lives on my desk at work because I genuinely enjoy playing with this while I'm sending emails and trying to be a productive member of society during my 9 to 5. If you want to make fidget toys but don't have a 3D printer of your own, then check out today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is an amazing one-stop shop for all of your one-off and custom prototyping needs and they have an amazing 3D printing service. We've actually ordered parts from them on the channel that have come back fantastic. And if you feel the need for a really awesome, unique fidget spinner, then you're in luck because you can just upload the file that you want to have printed and order it as a one-off. Their shipping is incredibly fast, their website's incredibly easy to use, and they have a super huge variety of materials and colors that you can choose from. And if you want a special discount on your first purchase, 
use the link in our description below to get started with PCBWay. Major thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the fidget toys. The next entry on our list actually serves two purposes. It's fun and fidgety, and it's practical. And it's this, it's another spinner, and you can print it in pretty much anything that you want. I chose New Maker's Silk, and I had some print issues, but I think it was from the printer where the seam is. But you can, you can spin the outside around, you can spin the inside around, and that's what makes it fun and fidgety. It's kind of bulky for throwing in your pocket. It's still very satisfying, easy to manipulate with one hand and not pay attention. You can kind of grab the flat spot and manipulate your thumb around it, and it's kind of like a worry stone, or just flick the middle part and spin it. That's all really cool. But where this becomes practical is I actually found this model not looking for fidget toys. I found this while I was looking for a muscle massager. And the other intended purpose of this is actually to take the round part and you can just use it to work on a sore muscle. Now you can buy a commercial product for that at most stores, but having something that you made yourself is cool. It's less expensive. Chances are you have the filament on hand, so it's going to cost almost nothing. And it's also a fidget toy. So basically, something fun to play with. And then if you're sore, you can just use it to work out those knots on your body. And that's really interesting. I don't have many examples of practical fidget toys that serve another purpose. So definitely a cool one to keep around. So surprise, surprise, we have another spinner. This one is a, another planetary gear, and it kind of has a gyroscope mechanism. So when you spin the inner, the middle inner ring, it'll actually make the very center ring level out. And you can spin it like a fidget spinner. It does use a planetary gear system, just like our red spinner. However, these are a little bit different. This one's smaller, so it's significantly more pocket friendly. This was actually printed out of Keen Village Plastics KVP blue ABS on the Flash Forge for the part of the review with that one, testing ABS and tolerances. And this one involves a little bit more focus to get the full effect. It does make a little bit of noise as you kind of spin it around, but if you have a machine that prints good tolerances, you can do several different moves or operations with it one-handed, and it's really satisfying to play with. It's really cool to look at. And it's not necessarily the most quiet toy on our list, but that's not what these are necessarily all about. Some of the best fidget toys are the loudest, and what I look for is something that just, it's got to tickle your brain in just the right way. It's got to really make sure that you have the right level of satisfaction when you're playing with it. And this one really does that. It's a really cool piece of engineering and definitely one that is going to be awesome for kids leaving in a desk drawer and while it is on the larger side it takes up most of the palm of my hand it's decently pocketable if you have bigger pockets i guess sorry for people who have jeans with no front pockets our next entry is absolutely my favorite because it's pocketable super portable and it's actually really quiet and there's several different things that you can do with it and it's this little gyroscopic spinner. So like the blue herringbone spinner we looked at, this one is going to be focused on the gyroscoping motion. So I like to spin the middle ring around and kind of watch as it centers the very center ring. You can spin the center ring on its own and it has this really nice knurled texture around the outside. So you can kind of just spin that around. You can also throw your thumb and just kind of worry stone it but one of my toxic traits is if I'm holding on to something for an extended period of time, I have to throw it. And that's one of the things that's really cool with this is this really nice knurled outside texture actually works perfectly for that. If you wrap your index finger around it and give it a gentle toss, it gets a good spin because you have that extra traction on the knurling. And it's really fun to do that but this one is going to fit in basically anybody's pocket. And if you print this as mostly or all walls and top and bottom layers, so pretty solid, it's going to have a good heft to it when printed out of PLA. You can see I went for that Lagoon Blue from New Makers again. I think it's a really gorgeous like blue, green, tealy type color. 
This one is really well suited for just about anybody. I think what makes a good fidget toy is something that serves a couple of purposes or potentially scratches a couple of those twitchy itches in the back of your mind where you can actually do a couple of different operations or satisfy a different feel. And that's what's nice. You have the knurling around the outside for kind of a texture thing. It spins so you can just idly flick and play with it. And for people who are tossers of things and throwers of things, you can absolutely, it's a cool little disc. So this one by far is my favorite. So much so that it's kind of a part of my everyday carry. So when I leave my house and I'm checking for things like phone, wallet, keys, pocket knife, headphones, this is one that's got to go with me. Huge shout out to our level three channel members, Nathan Wolford and Snail3D. You and all of our other awesome members are part of what helped keep the lights on around here, and we appreciate you immensely. If you want to help the channel, the best thing that you can do is be sure to like this video and share with a friend. If you have enjoyed one or more of our videos, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. Our last entry is kind of a bonus entry, and it's one that goes everywhere that I drive. While I was scrolling around Maker World one night, I found this keychain spinner. And you just slip it through your keys, and it's a print-in-place bearing system that allows you to just spin your keys. Now, you're almost always going to have keys with you, no matter whether you drive or not. You need to be able to get back into your house. And the weight of your keys are actually what carry this thing around. You have a couple of different maneuvers. You can spin it forward, backward, do catches, installs. And this bearing, after it gets broken in, does become incredibly smooth. So this one is one that basically anybody can carry with them because most of us have keys for some reason or another. And having that just one little extra thing makes it a little bit less painful to have to carry so many keys around. Because while we're talking about how fidgety I am, you should also know I hate keys. And this at least makes my keys fun to have around because now I always have a fidget toy whenever I have my keys with me. If you're fidgety enough, everything is a fidget toy, from a pen to a scrap of filament. And it doesn't have to be that way. If you have access to a 3D printer or want to use the sponsor of this video, PCB Way, to print your own fidget toys, then you should get after it and just hit print. Broken in becomes incredibly.